joined by head coach of the Hofstra Fraud, Chris Kilburn Sadeski after a win at Northeastern to end the, seat, end, end the regular season. <laughs> coach, thoughts on the game? Wow, just uh, proud. Uh, this was a hard fought battle on this floor today. Um, very, very physical, and I think it was just uh, just a great testament to where we are and our, our effort, which I spoke to you pretty in depth before the game. I just, I was just so proud. We had 20 team assists. We had four players in double figures to carry the load. They tried to really overcompensate on Ajene and really try to take her out of the equation, and everybody else rose up around her, and they guarded obviously to freeze all night long, which is a tough matchup. So, just so proud. Just uh, six points in that first quarter of play, a slow start. What did you see from yeah. the time? Well, uh, we went up 4-0, right? And we had a chance to actually uh, go up 8-0. We had some little small gimme turnovers that were uh, in transition. They were trying to take away Darius's left hand. And you know, I told us, like, go back to your right, cross back over. Because, you know, they, they all take the middle floor away from her. So um, she, uh, so she, you know, had to settle down a little bit. And then they got off. We had to sub a little bit. And then uh, we didn't do a good job getting back in transition a couple times. I was pretty hot about that. And we just had to settle down. We had to settle down to the physicality. We were getting bumped on rebounds. We needed to, okay, realize this is how this is going to get played. This is how it's going to get called. So we had to calm down and, and just learn how to play you know, in the environment that we were in. Not many times that you'll see Durant have four fouls early in the third quarter, um, but still able to find a way to carry on without her so standing I, I, on the bench most of the time. Honestly, God, I think it's her first four fouls of the season. The kid doesn't foul, so it just kind of tells you how the game was kind of being called. And, and it was just unfortunate when people don't understand, you know, how an offensive player like to freeze plays, and she initiates all the contact. And you're trying to, you know, hollow out and isolate and get around. And, I mean, so I knew, I knew it after a first call that this could get ugly. And it could have gotten really ugly, and it would have been massively unfortunate because that's what I expected. And one of the officials said, let, let the players play it out. So thank goodness they kind of calmed down even, you know, in the second quarter. But that's when you know it's going to be an interesting night when a player that never gets in foul trouble. You don't play, what, 22 and 7? You don't play this many games and go this many season have <laughs> one time that you have four fouls, maybe two. Uh, and, and not realize that you can, you're you know, one of the best defenders in the league. So, but that was my point. I thought, you know, Sandra, after she settled down, she came in and played great minutes. Her first set of minutes didn't make me happy, but she bounced back after I got into her a little bit and then came back and played great minutes. And, and that's what we need. I mean, she had, what, 14, 15 minutes and six points and five rebounds. That's a pretty, that's pretty good line. She got King Gilchrist big in that turnaround, especially there in that second quarter. What can you say about her performance, especially there in that second quarter? I mean, she played great at the end of the year last year, played great in the tournament time, and you know, no better time than the present, right? And she loves these opportunities. She loves having these opportunities right now to give what the team is needed, and she hit some big shots when we needed it. When we were really stagnant on offense, she hit some buckets that opened up the floor for us. Uh, the way checking out, you would face this team in the quarterfinals coming up this week. So, uh... You got a good little taste of it today of what you could expect in a tomorrow. 100%. You know, emotions will be high. It's going to be, you know, always that tough first game getting past and playing team less than a week. Um, you know, we've done it before. We've done it before and been successful. Um, you know, we've been on both sides of that track, so let's just stay with it. We've done it before and been successful. We did Towson a couple of years ago. We had Towson, Towson. I'm trying to think if I go back in my memory books, we have, we've done it a few times. So um, it is what it is. So we'll just prepare. We got to prepare for three games in, in, in three days, you know, one at a time, and uh, so it is what it is. So uh, you know, we'll be ready.